For book one, proposition number 25 of Euclid's Elements, if two triangles have the two sides equal to two sides respectively, but have the base greater than the base, they will also have the one of the angles contained by the equal straight lines greater than the other. So let's say we have two triangles, triangle ABC and DEF, and we know that the side AB and DE are equal, and we also know that AC and DF are equal, and the last thing we know is that this base BC is bigger than the base EF, and what we're trying to prove is that this angle here would be bigger than this angle here. So to prove this, what we want to do is assume that angle BAC is either less than or equal to angle EDF. And with this assumption, we can show that it leads to some type of logical contradiction for both of these cases. So first, let's look at the case where they're equal to each other. So we'll look at the case where angle BAC is equal to angle EDF. But we know due to book one, proposition number four, that if these two angles were equal to each other, then we would essentially have the conditions met for the side angle side theorem. So these two triangles share two equal sides and the angle between those equal sides is equal as well. And that would imply that BC and EF are equal, but we know, since we were given this information, that BC is bigger than EF. So therefore, this cannot be true. So now all we have to do is look at the case where angle BAC is less than the angle EDF. So let's write that down, that angle BAC is less than the angle EDF but due to book one, proposition number 24, we know that if this angle is less than this angle, then this side BC would be less than this side EF. But we know the opposite is true since BC is bigger than EF. So therefore we can conclude that this can't be true as well. And since BAC, the angle, cannot be less than EDF or equal to it, that means there's only one possibility, that it has to be bigger than the angle EDF. So we can end with QED.